Well, we're coming to the end of the class. Um, I have really enjoyed this. I, I have never had as much satisfaction, interaction, uh, and um, basically buzz in any course I've taught. So I want to thank you for that. Let me tell you what we're doing in week eight. Uh, as you know, this week is a week where we basically look at criticisms of the Iowa caucus and the primary process and a little bit at the future of the Iowa caucuses, uh, for the first in the nation, New Hampshire primary, and how we in the United States select presidential candidates. So this is, in a way, um, a kind of reflection on what is going on right now and what might go on in the future. And as you know, um, if you look at the, I've, I've got right here in front of me the little schedule of our, you know, what our class uh, looks like. Um, we've got a very good reading from the Washington Post <clears throat> in our uh, virtual uh, library. So you can go take a look at that and it basically talks about rethinking Iowa. That, that more or less says it all. Um, there are some reform proposals that have been floated around. I kind of edited them off of Wikipedia a little bit to maybe improve the focus um, and you can look at those. Uh, Christopher Rance, um, uh, who is the mi minority leader in the Iowa House of Representatives and a very active Republican, uh, kindly allowed me to interview him and we have that interview with his kind of his comments about uh, the caucus process. Uh, of course, David Yepsen, um, one of the smartest caucus observers, um, has uh, some, some suggestions for um, electoral changes, and you can read those. Um, we talk about the regional plan where, you know, Iowa and New Hampshire maybe would be first, and then there would be some regional primaries in, in four major regions of the country or something like that. Um, a little of the interview that I did with David Yepsen as well. Uh, and uh, I think you'll enjoy that quite a bit. Uh, and also uh, Gordon Fisher, who is a very smart guy. He is a lawyer in Des Moines, former chairman of the Iowa Democratic Party, um, and smart, smart guy, um, has shared some of his views with us as well. I really appreciate the effort and time that you've put into this class, and I wanted to tell you that we will be sending a course evaluation out to you um, please give us your suggestions. Uh, we want to know if you think we ought to do this again sometime in the future. And I want to wish you happy holidays. And it's not over yet, but I'll, I'll see you on the net.